I'm going to show you how to make a perfect tagliarini pasta. Pasta dough has already made it, rested it. I'm going to make little bits for you, not too much. Semolino. Nice bit of semolino. Cut it for about portions. Now, remember, you always have to put it, your pasta dough, inside in a clean film because you want to keep the moisture. I will use a pasta machine. I suggest every one of you, if you can, to invest it in small pasta machines. This is quite big. But a pasta small one is good. Last a lifetime. Here we go. Pasta dough so on top of the semolino. Dress them a little bit. Squash them a bit because I have to get through the pasta machine. I put semolino. Is durum wheat semolino. Is not so fine like double zero of flour. Is a little bit thicker than a flour because I don't want to stick on a table, on a marble table, on a kitchen surface, everywhere. So this is what is what I done. Also keeps dry as well. Flatten a bit, and I go to the pasta machines to the biggest number. The biggest number is on the widest gap of the pasta machines. Put inside, and start to roll it. Then you roll it about two, three times. So then you turn again to the smaller, but not much smaller. Then again, you roll it. When you roll it, you turn them around. You roll it, and then again, you turn them around and do about three times. And then again, you close another gap. See, at the moment, I don't need any flour. And then you turn them around. You can do this ever so quick. Then again, you close it again. So another small gap. And look at that already. How small and how wide it starts to come. Very thin on the side. Then turn them around. And then you start again, rolling them around. You want to almost make it round, but in the same time, have to be big enough, not too big, not to go inside the machines. So you make a gap, you go to almost the last gap. Almost, not yet. And then you roll it. Yes. And put a little bits of a flour. And you do a couple of times. Yes. I'm go down to almost the last one, the finished one. And that is where you really have to concentrate it. And always take your hands, hold your hands, the pasta, but don't pull it. Just hold it. Show them the way. Then again, exactly the same, the last one, the finished one, you go once more. Hold it. This is thin enough. Just put them on the side of your chopping board or your table. Nice thin, blow underneath. Look, it's flying around. This is done. Now at this stage, Get the semolino, spread them on top, you close it, again, a little bit more semolino, you close again, you close it, you close it. The reason why, because I, I don't want the, the, the flour get stuck. Put again, nice bit of semolino, band it, and you roll it this one. Because this is very, very, very fine tagliarini. The word tagliarini, tagliare, means to cut, but also it means the very, very small knife. So you have the pasta, a very, very sharp, you cut it, you almost saw it. Look. And look how thin it's going to come. Doesn't matter if some are a little large, some are a little bigger. 
You know, that is what the beauty is, make your own fresh pasta, full of love and passion. Cut it right to the last one. Some they're shorter, some they're longer. Are you in this, mate? Grab it inside your hands, all together. Twiggle a little bit. Look at that, that's got. Now. It's incredible. This is how to make tagliarini. If you want to watch me, how to make more pasta, don't forget, jamieoliver.com. And you see me how to make a different shape of a pasta. <laughs>